Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Enlightened Lives. So today I will discuss about textbook review file, a file which is given to BA students in which they have to review a particular textbook of their interest of and a textbook related to their pedagogy subject. So I'll be sharing the proper format of textbook review file and if you want the PDF of it so you can join our telegram channel there you can find the PDF of textbook review of this social science book. So let's begin. So I have reviewed this book that is social and political life of class 6th NCRT. So first of all you have to make the index in the beginning of the file and in the, in the index you can include topics like introduction meaning of a textbook definition, characteristic of a textbook, importance of a textbook, advantages, book review introduction, book review definition, summary of chapters and analysis. So in this you have to write the summary of all the chapters that is given in the book, physical aspects of a book, drawbacks, suggestions and conclusions. So we'll discuss this one by one. So introduction of a textbook, what is a textbook? So in the beginning of it, you have to give a brief introduction of what textbook actually is. So textbook is a book containing a comprehensive compilation of content in a branch of study with the intention of explaining it. So textbook is a essay book hoti hai, jis mein content ko compile kiya jata hai, ek specific branch of study se related, usko explain karne ki intention se. Textbooks are produced to meet the needs of educators, usually at educational institutions. So textbook educators ki needs ko fulfill karne ke liye use kiya jata hai kisi educational institutions pe. Now the definition of textbook. A textbook is a school book in which related material on certain subjects in a written form which will satisfy a specific learning and teaching situation in systematically set for assimilation. So this definition is given by Bernard. You can uh, include this in your file. A textbook is a book prepared especially to assist the learner in mastering a subject or a part of the subject. So UNESCO ne jo textbook ki definition diya that is book ek specially uh, prepared book hoti hai jo assist learners ko assist karne mein ke kaam aati hai kisi ek subject ko master karne ke liye subject ke kisi ek part ko master karne ke liye seekhne ke liye samajhne ke liye. So a textbook is a book designed for classroom use. So this is a definition given by Bacon. Now the characteristics of a textbook is preservation. So textbook preserve each and every facts and information related to a particular content or topic. Communication. So it is a form of communication because through textbook we get to know about a certain subject or certain topics. It builds curiosity, visuals, matlab it contains pictures which builds curiosity in students minds and they understood everything or deta in details by looking at those pictures given in the book. Age appropriate material, so age ke according hi material hota hai textbook mein according to different grades, classrooms. So importance of textbook, now you can add the, this point that is importance of textbook so textbook helps to guide teachers it helps people yani ki it helps students also provide minimum essential knowledge at one place so ek jagah par aapko required essential information your knowledge mil jati hai developing their reading and comprehension skills so by reading the books students can develop their reading and comprehension skills it helps them to produce short text in spoken and written forms. It uh, developing their re reference skills by encouraging them to use dictionaries and other reference material. So books ko padne se hi kuch or reference material padne ka curiosity build hoti hai ya fir kahi aur se dictionary books mein jo terms diya hoi hai to ye curiosity bhi build karta hai and sensitizing towards Vocabulary items, pronunciation and grammar. So they develop their grammar, pronunciation skills too. Now advantages of a textbook is it gives definite information, meet the student's need. It helps in the development of skills. It gives accurate amount of the subject. Serve as the basis of all methods. Now textbook review. So after explaining each and everything about textbook, you have to 
explain what textbook review is now you have to give a brief introduction about textbook review a textbook review is an evaluation of quality of the material presented in a textbook तो टेक्स्टबुक रिव्यू में हम बुक के अंदर जो भी मटेरियल कंटेंट विजुअल्स या एवरी ईच एंड एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक इज इवेलुएटेड बाय यू सो आप रिव्यू करते हैं उसको इवेलुएट करते हैं अपने व्यू पॉइंट्स देते हैं टेक्स्टबुक रिव्यू में टेक्स्टबुक कॉम्प्ली द टेक्स्ट बुक रिव्यू कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स एक्सपैंड एंड डीपेंस द इन्फॉर्मेशन आउटलाइन ड्यूरिंग क्लासेज एंड हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड द सब्जेक्ट In the textbook review, the reviewer describes every section of the textbook using accessible and understandable language. तो easy language में आप हर aspect को review करते हैं उसको evaluate करते हैं The review should not cover only the description of textbook content, but also evaluate the significance of the textbook and its usefulness to a certain audience. तो अगर आप किसी भी class का एक textbook review कर रहे हैं suppose you are reviewing a book of class सिक्स देन सिर्फ आपकी उस उसका एक्सटर्नल डिस्क्रिप्शन नहीं देंगे बल्कि उसको उसकी इम्पोर्टेंस और जो उस सर्टेन क्लास सिक्स के स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जो उसकी यूजफुलनेस है उसको भी इवेलुएट करेंगे कि हाउ इट इज़ फुलफिलिंग देयर नीड्स नाउ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टेक्स्ट बुक रिव्यू अ रिव्यू शुड बी मोर देन जस्ट अ समरी ऑफ द बुक कॉन्टेंट इट शुड बी एन इन्वॉल्व एंड इन्फॉर्म्ड रिस्पॉन्स टू द स्टाइल थीम एंड कॉन्टेंट तो रिव्यू के अंदर सिर्फ आप समरी नहीं देंगे बुक के कंटेंट का बल्कि ये सिर्फ एक इन्वॉल्व और इन्फॉर्म्ड रिस्पॉन्स होना चाहिए इस बुक का स्टाइल थीम कंटेंट सब कुछ इंक्लूड होना चाहिए सो दिस डेफिनेशन इज गिवन इन ब्लूम्स बरी रिव्यू 2009 नाउ देन यू कैन स्टार्ट बाय राइटिंग चैप्टर वाइज समरी राइट वन पेज ऑफ समरी एंड देन वन पेज ऑफ एनालिसिस इन एनालिसिस You can write anything that you didn't like in that particular chapter. That was and any suggestions that you want to give. So you can add everything that you have noticed in that particular chapter. Then the physical aspects of textbook. So what are physical aspect? Physical aspect में आप name of textbook लिखेंगे. Then class first edition उसका size of the book. You can write the font, cover and illustration. The name. the binding quality paper quality and price of the book so these are the physical or external aspects of a textbook now you have to give the suggestions so in suggestions you can give anything that you want to give and like some more real life based activity should be there there should be more examples as well as proper definition so that students get a clear picture of what the teacher is explaining there should be more hot question higher order thinking skills questions it should be related to contemporary reality the number of questions should be increased so you can give your suggestions too and at the end you can conclude your textbook review by giving anything by giving your point of view and anything that you want to add in conclusion So if it was helpful for you please do like comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our new videos and do comment your suggestions and feedback thank you so much and best of luck